Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 9 of the chapter Electrochemistry. In part 8, I was explaining electrochemical cell and its relationship with Gibbs energy of reaction and also the relationship between Gibbs energy of reaction and the equilibrium constant. So, moving ahead with the same topic, I will now solve one solved example and one in-text question in order to solidify the understanding of this topic in your minds. Not wasting any time, let us come to the first question. This is the solved example of your textbook. The question is question 3.3 and it reads that the standard electrode potential for Daniel cell is 1.1 volt, which means that E0 cell for Daniel cell is 1.1 volt. You have to calculate the free energy, the Gibbs energy of reaction for the following reaction. The reaction is the reaction for the Daniel cell, that is zinc reaction uh, reacts with copper ions to give you zinc ions and copper, uh, solid copper. So now we need to calculate the value of delta Rg naught, that is the, uh, the standard Gibbs energy of reaction. We know that delta Rg naught is equal to minus n f e naught cell and the value of n for this reaction is 2 because there are two electrons being transferred the Faraday's constant is equal to 9 6 the fact is 9 6 4 8 7 9 6 4 8 7 coulombs per mole and E0 cell is given to us for this reaction, which is equal to 1.1 volts. So using this information, we can calculate delta Rg0. So delta Rg0 would become equal to substitute these values minus n is 2, 96487 coulombs per mole into 1.1 volts. So when you solve this, what is the value that you would get? You would get minus 21227 joules per mole. Minus 21227 joules per mole. Or if you take it three decimals this side, you'll get minus 21.227 kilojoules per mole. Right? So this is the value of delta Rg naught and this was your solved example. A simple problem where you only have had to substitute the values of uh, N, F and E naught cell in this equation. Let us now move to the in-text question. This is in-text question 3.6 of your textbook. The question reads that the cell in which the following reaction occurs and the reaction is 2 Fe3 positive aqueous plus 2 iodide ions in the aqueous state will give you two ferrous ions in the aqueous state plus iodine in the solid state. So the and the E0 cell for this reaction is equal to 0 0.236 volts at 298 Kelvin. So capital T that is the temperature is 298 Kelvin and we know 298 Kelvin means that the, the conditions are the standard conditions and if we take unimolar quantities of all of these. So the temperature has been given assuming that all other quantities are unimolar so we would be calculating the, uh, the delta G naught for this and the equilibrium constant. So you have to calculate the free energy of the reaction, the standard free energy of the reaction and Kc. So in the first step let us find out the standard free energy that is delta Rg naught would be equal to minus Nf E naught cell. Now again, two Fe3 ions are going to get converted into two Fe2 positive and according to the stoichiometry, although there is one electron that is being uh, gained here, it is, uh, although there is one electron being gained here, there are two of these ions, therefore uh, the number of electrons here also N would be equal to 2 and F is the same value and E0 cell for this is given to us, yes, is given to us as 0.3 for 6 volts. So let us substitute the values. This would become minus 2 into 96487 coulombs per mole into 
Enoch cell is uh, 0.236 volts. So when you do this, you can calculate the value of delta RG naught, and when you do calculate the value, you would get minus 45541 minus 45541 point uh, 864 864 joules per mole so we could convert this also into kilojoules so take it three decimals this side become minus 45.54 you could make this uh, round it off break it to two decimals so 45.54 joules per uh, kilojoules per mole would be your delta rg naught now that we have calculated delta rg naught we need to find out kc we know there's a relationship between delta rg naught and kc and what is that delta rg naught is also equal to rg naught is also equal to minus R T L N K C. In order to convert this into log to the base 10, we multiply it by 2.303. So this becomes equal to minus 2.303 R T log K C. And from this, if delta R G naught is equal to minus 2.303 R T log K C, you can calculate log K C from this. So log K C would be equal to Delta RG naught upon 2.303 RT. Right? Minus. So we can calculate minus log KC, minus log KC from this, or we could say just log KC from this. So log KC would become equal to minus delta RG naught upon 2.303 RT, right? Now let's substitute the values of these. Delta RG naught was just calculated by us and how much was it? Minus, <coughs> minus 45.54 into 10 to the power 3 joules per mole, right? And divided by 2.303 the value of R is 8.314 and the temperature is given to us as 298 Kelvin. 98. Now look here, it is minus. So there's a minus here and the value of delta RG naught is also a negative value. So this minus outside into this minus would become a plus. So on the whole, this value will become a positive value. <coughs> and this would be equal to, when you calculate, 7.981, 7.981 is log Kc. So if you want Kc, you need to find out the antilog of this. Antilog of 7.981. And when you find out the antilog of 7.981, this would turn out to be 9.57, 9.57 into 10 to the power 7 is the value of equilibrium constant Kc. 9.57 into 10 to the power 7 is the value of Kc. So do you see how easy it is that these problems were pretty easy where all you had to do was find out either delta Rg naught and the relationship between the Gibbs energy and the equilibrium constant. With this I will finish this short video. I hope it, you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos on chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.